If you haven't seen the previous episode, you might get confused. All right, so this is a really cool view actually. We're looking from the bottom um, and we can see a very clear separation between the sternal and abdominal sections, which explains the double curve you'll see in the armpit. Okay, so I started with the clavicular origin, wrapping it around and it, you can see here how it kind of goes over the volume of the sternal section. That thickness, it kind of wraps over it and then twists around to connect to the humerus. So you can see how the left side that I drew is kind of facing upward. It's, like, it's kind of like a top plane. And then as it goes towards the humerus, it twists a little bit and now it's facing us. So really cool sheet, kind of like a little strap in there. And now I'm working on the sternal section. That's a very clear one on him at this moment as he's flexing. And uh, the abdominal section right there. And you can see in this area how the muscle bundles will kind of group together in various ways. Like in this one, you know, we're seeing these two groups on the left. Uh, they're kind of like two thicker ones, and you got a tiny one in the middle, and then you got another tail coming out on the outside that kind of reaches down a little bit farther um, towards the abs. So, very interesting organization of, uh, of muscle fibers. Um, and then you can see on the sternal section, I'm just kind of wrapping the fibers over that volume, really showing that up tilt. And I'm gonna draw uh, the deltoid in here, just cause I kinda wanna show you how much of the pec I was actually seeing and how much I invented. So this whole volume right in here is the, uh, the deltoid and it's covering up this whole section. So all of this that I'm erasing as a, making a dotted line, that's all pec underneath the deltoid. And look at how the deltoid actually wraps over the volume of the pec. You can see the bottom edge of the deltoid is a C-curve because it's wrapping over the volume of the pec. And then that right there was the acromial section of the deltoid. Okay, other side. Um, not as much information, but also the armpit is a little confusing. So let's start with what we know. I got the border of the sternum. I got the top border of the clavicle. And then you got the clavicular portion kind of wrapping over the sternal portion and behind it, so you can't really see much. Then right there is a little bump on the left side of the sternal portion, and as it wraps kind of around and behind itself back into the arm. Um, very, very complicated angle. So um, you can see the cross contour lines I added for the fibers. See how it's wrapping around the, the roundness of the, uh, the abdominal section and back into the arm. So that little overlap on the bottom left corner really helps to show that. And again, the abdominal muscle bundles kind of have that same pattern where you got the, the ones on the inside, you got two big ones, and then one in the middle that's kind of going up a little higher and then one on the left or on the outside that reaches down more. Okay, there's the aponeurosis wrapping around the abs. And that's pretty much going to be it for this one. Very, very, uh, very good pose to study because this, this is an angle you usually see. So being able to see this angle and see how these muscle fibers or all these little, the, you know, the three sections uh, interact together. How one wraps over the volume of the other, goes underneath another. Just that that play between these uh, these volumes, really good to see in this photo. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. If you want to see more drawing examples, go to proco.com/anatomy. 
I have eight more examples, which serve as the answers to the assignment from the last lesson. That's proco.com slash anatomy. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you're posting your drawings on social networks, use the hashtag Proco, or consider posting them in one of the Proco Facebook groups. You can find them on proco.com slash groups.